Hey everyone, Cybermat here, and today I wanted to talk about Marvel Ultimate Alliance and the shitty PC ports. Okay, so this is a game I love. I have very fond memories of, of playing this game, uh, I think back on PS2. Uh, this is like a 10 year old game now. Uh, but I never played the second one, so when they announced that these games were going to get re-released on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, I was excited. I was I was happy I would be able to play the, the second one finally and and so you know I was I was hoping to, to get them on PC <laughs> but um, these games came out this past Wednesday and apparently they're having a lot of problems uh, I think uh, the the button mapping is off if you use anything other than an X, a wired Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so that's <laughs> that's a problem. There are weird things with the the menus, things that that like I I, I just watched a video um, where it's just like there are things in the menu that that don't even do anything. It's it's so strange. It, it was like they were going going to add that in, but forgot or ran out of time or something. I I really don't know. Um. So and then in the second one, it still has the the uh, controller problem as well as uh, sound there's problems with the sound it's like static crackling in the background um, and it's just it's just so strange that, that this would happen with with these PC ports until you actually look into it and so that, that's what I want to talk about here so first off the one thing I really want to complain about is the price um, you know the, the first game is over 10 years old now and and they're pricing both of these games for forty dollars each. Um, that's no, no. I, I would say twenty to twenty five dollars each, possibly. But luckily, they do have a a cheaper uh, bundle where you can get both games for sixty dollars, which uh, is more reasonable. But still, it's it's Activision price gouging you basically. Um, Anyway, I have a uh, an article here. This is an interview uh, that they put up on Marvel.com. Uh, this this piece is by Justin Snyder, uh, and he interviewed the executive producer um, on on the re-release, uh, Mike Jones. And let's see, uh, let's go down here to. Where Marvel.com asked them, were there any changes from the original games? And Mike Jones says, we wanted these re-releases to be as faithful to the original Ultimate Alliance games as possible. The definitive editions, or definitive versions, rather. But, you know, to me that seems like a, a way, a nice way of saying that they were either lazy or most likely they didn't have enough time and money to actually add things and, and make it an overall better game. And, you know, they're referring to the originals as the definitive versions. Um, but, I mean, even even this PC port doesn't have uh, the DLC, I think from the, the gold edition of the game, which had extra characters. So that's not incorporated into the game at all. And it, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, why they had so many problems, why there are so many problems with these PC ports. And to me, it, it comes down to uh, the developer behind the PC ports. And that is Zoe Mode. Now, if you if you actually go on Steam and search Zoe Mode uh, to, to find out what other games they've worked on for PC, this is all you get. Uh, Ultimate Alliance, Ultimate Alliance 2, and Chime, which is a game that came out six years ago. So, um, looking on Wikipedia, I found that uh, they've done um, they've done other games in the past, mainly for consoles, uh, like Zumba. A lot of the Zumba games, uh, some of the the uh, some singing games, and, and and stuff like that, but. You know, so it, it really seems to me that Activision wanted to put out these games, wanted to put the least amount of money into them, 
And so they decided to go with a a developer that's probably not that familiar with PC porting. So they they would pay the developer the least amount of money they could and then price gouge these games. So they know these games are going to turn out shitty and then they're going to they're going to charge $40 for each of them. And and who knows if if they're actually working on patches for these, I hope they are to to fix some of these issues. But I mean, I was really looking forward to to the, these games, and I'm, I'm I'm just really really angry on this. But I think this is this is more Activision's fault, um, and it, they probably just didn't give enough money and time to to Zoe Mode to 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 do these ports, and they were probably inexperienced in PC ports, but. All of this is, of course, speculation. I don't know, but I'm still very frustrated and and just just pissed off that th this had to happen to the PC ports. Hopefully, patches will come out and and they'll and they'll improve. But of course, I haven't played the games. I should say that. So so this is all the stuff. I all the reviews on Steam are fairly negative on it and talk about the same issues, the controller problems and and things like that. So. You know, I, it's it is what it is, but uh, hopefully they'll get these worked out, and maybe when they go on sale, if they ever do, knowing Activision, uh, if it does go on sale, they'll probably be like you know five dollars off, if that, or they'll just discount the bundled version. Uh, they they do things like that all the time, but definitely let me let me know if you guys if you guys uh, have experienced um, any issues with these games down in the comments below. As always, like the video, share it, and subscribe.